We made money Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's how you do money making weekend. Let's do it again. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Jason Madness, of course, with Winning Bets, giving you guys free sports picks every single day. And we're coming off a fantastic weekend and a fantastic week overall, and also a fantastic weekend. I hope you guys had a good weekend. It was good in Chicago. Weather was cold. It was snowy, though. Got out, had some fun. And, of course, there was a lot of good sports on television to keep us entertained, but also, more importantly, to put money up in your pocket. And again, I hope you guys had a good weekend. Let's go ahead and recap last week, and then let's go ahead and kick off our Monday with some basketball and football bets. You guys can see right there from last week, we went 26 and 17 and plus 16.18 units. Ah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Fantastic work. Now, overall year to date, we've got 51 wins, 39 losses, and plus 18.44 units. That is what I'm talking about. Go ahead and hit that like button, guys, if you were part of those caches last week. We've now had two weeks of our 2022 calendar, and we've put money in your pocket in both of those weeks. Just fantastic. What were some of those good wins, and what were some of those bad losses last week? Well, you better start off, if you're talking about good wins, you better start off and talk about Yurtsevin on Friday night. Yurtsevin was that first basket. We talked about here on YouTube how he was going to be the guy that got the first basket in that game, and that's exactly what he did. Made a dunk in dramatic fashion there going on there. I had a really good time with you guys on Friday night, just interacting with everybody. Love to see all the excitement. Love to see everybody get just as hyped as I was and we cashed that first cast, uh, first basket. That was just really cool to see and uh, really just pumped me up and got me fired up for Money Making Weekend. We got a couple wins last week doing the Cavs in the first quarter against the spread. Of course, when the Cavs are on the road, they're pretty much an automatic bet. We didn't bet them Friday night though and they actually won the first quarter against the Spurs. So kicking myself for not doing that, but got two wins with them midweek. Actually went two and one with the Cavs because went back in with them on Saturday when they were on the back end of a back-to-back. -back. But unfortunately, they were unable to beat the Thunder, but I'll go two and one against the Cavs and look for them. They're at home now, but look for them to get back on the road and start backing those Cavs against the road. We also doubled it one night this week when we took Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Edwards in the same game to go over their prop total, and both of them got us good fourth quarter cash. In soccer, we got West Ham over Norwich midweek, put in two or three bets, cashed Two of those three bets, one of them were at plus money. So good work right there with West Ham really beating Norwich up pretty good. That was only 2 nothing, but watching that game, they handled Norwich real, you know, relatively easy. How about those two NFL teasers I gave you guys on Friday's show? Both of those NFL teasers went ahead and cashed. We did one in that raiders Bengals game. That one was relatively sweat-free. The other one with the Eagles plus 17.5 and Niners plus 10.5, obviously the Eagles gave us an incredible, incredible sweat right there. Just got dominated by the Bucs. Buccaneers, but they came through a couple late garbage touchdowns in the fourth quarter. Got us a good teaser cash right there. We also put in a couple prop bets on that Bills game. What about Devin Singletary? Over 12.5 receiving yards. He got that one to cash. Then we did a live bet on that Bills team total. It was 20 to what 20 to 3 at that point when I sent that tweet out, and they only had their team total at 30.5. Like, are you kidding me? The Bills weren't going to get a couple, few more touchdowns? Of course they were going to. That was that was incredible right there. Obviously, they manhandled the Patriots. Seven drives, seven touchdowns. Woo! Dominated them so easily take that team total. I know some of you got it at 34.5, you were telling me. Obviously, 34.5 cash. It didn't matter. That was just a great live bet for us. And then with the hockey squirrel, how about him coming through for us last week? Going 3-0 with the hockey squirrel. So we look forward to him jumping back on our channel tomorrow and giving us some more hockey winners. What were some of those bad losses last week? Well, Stefan Diggs, unfortunately, he did not go over 64.5 receiving yards. The, the Bills just beat up the Patriots so bad. He just wasn't needed in that game plan. So they only went to him three three times for 60 yards. Fell just short right there. What about that Wizards-Bulls money line parlay? You guys remember that was the night where the Bulls covered, but the Wizards didn't because Bradley Beal hit that COVID list. Just to remind you guys, that is betting during the COVID times. You're going to suffer some losses, and that one certainly bit us there as the Wizards, I think, lost by a point in that first quarter, if I recall correctly. Marketing, that was a tough loss right there. Making that three-pointer without two minutes ago, the last points for the Cavs. Brutal right there for him to go up over his point total. And we had the under right there. Madrid double. Remember the uh, Spanish Super Cup right there? Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid. Atletico Madrid just wet in the bed for about a five-minute span with the one-goal lead. Just fell apart for five minutes. Unfortunate right there. The Newcastle Watford up over the weekend needed both teams to score an over 2.5. Good game. Enjoyed watching that one. There was only two goals in that game. Each team did score, but neither team was unable to find a winner in that one. So he went ahead and dropped. But overall, just a fantastic week. Plus six. 
16.18 units. Again, guys, go ahead and hit that like button. That's the only way I know you guys are cashing with me is if you can hit that like button by letting me know you're putting money in your pocket. Before we move on into these bets, what did you guys think of the NFL playoffs this weekend? Uh, it wasn't the greatest, right? Everybody kind of got the same opinion. It wasn't the greatest. It started off with a good game there and raiders Bengals. I thought that was a, a fantastic watch right there. Obviously, the whistle controversy right there in the second quarter. Certainly, I mean, it played a part, right? Because that play resulted in a Bengals touchdown, but plenty of football left for the Raiders to overcome that, and I think you heard that from their head coach in his post-game press conference. You know, he's not going to talk bad about the referees. They had more than a half a football to overcome that whistle. But, yeah, good, fantastic game. Came down to, you know, Raiders driving there at the end to try and obviously force overtime. Derek Carr throws an interception. So we got a, definitely a good game to kick it off. And then at the nightcap, though, we did not get a good game. If you're only a Bills fan, you probably enjoyed that just because – a, you know, we whooped up on the Patriots, and two, well, it was the Patriots who have been kicking our ass for 20 years with Tom Brady and Bill Belichick under helm. So, felt good as a Bills fan, but certainly, I mean, I'll admit it, I, I did not enjoy watching that game, you know, large in part because, I mean, you knew it was over by halftime. They could not stop the Bills. Again, seven drives, seven touchdowns, was not the greatest watch, but certainly felt good as a Bills fan. Eagles, Bucks, first game on Sunday, that was a shitty watch right there. Kind of the same feel you had with the Bills Patriots is Eagles couldn't do shit. Nothing that the Eagles could do could really stop the Buccaneers. So, yeah, that one wasn't a great watch right there. Then the best game by far, 49ers-Cowboys. Fantastic game. Absolutely fantastic. Mentioned on Friday's show that I thought the 49ers were going to go ahead and get the victory. Obviously, I didn't go ahead and bet it, but I thought the 49ers could go into Dallas and get a win. That's exactly what they did. Just a fantastic game overall. And then, and then went in the QB sneak to end it. I didn't understand that play call initially, and then when I thought about it, okay, I do get it. Maybe you do get a little bit closer, but no reason for Dak to run that far down the field. I mean, you, hell, you've got a cannon of an arm, and I understand you don't want to do the Hail Mary from the 50-yard line, but okay, maybe the maybe like the 35 or maybe the 40. I don't know. You ran too far, and then obviously they had no idea how to go ahead and get the ball snapped and hand it to the referee, which is what you got to do in that situation. Don't let the referee spot the ball. Give it to him, place it in his hand, and let him put the ball down. So, yeah, a great game. Weird finish. <laughs> Weird finish, but an absolute fantastic game. And then another just shitty game at night. I mean, Steelers, Chiefs, I think everybody was expecting a blowout, and that's certainly what happened. Kind of got a dramatic start right there. Obviously, it was 0-0, and Steelers getting the first touchdown, but... Yeah, well, that woke up the uh, woke up the beast there in the Chiefs, and then they just put their foot down and absolutely destroy the Chiefs. So yeah, three bad games, two good games. Let's hope tonight we get a good game between those Cardinals and Rams, which I think you will. The division rival, even though Bills Patriots is obviously a division rival, I think the Bills. I mean, they showed in that second game over the Patriots that they were far superior, better than than those uh, Patriots. I think you're gonna get a good game tonight. So let's just hope we do get that good game tonight. But overall, you know, that's the playoffs. That's opening round. We move on now to the division around look forward to playoffs next weekend let's stay with football here for a second let me give you guys my bets for this monday night game there between those cardinals and rams i've got two bets from it i'm gonna go ahead and do kyler murray over 252.5 passing yards at minus 115 over at DraftKings. And I'm also going to do Cardinals team total over 22.5 points at minus 122 over a points bet. Just love both of these bets because they both obviously cash both this season, but they also cash in a win and a loss. A little undecided on who I think is going to win the game. I lean Cardinals just because I mentioned not unable to really trust Matthew Stafford. I think the maybe the Rams do have the overall better team. But I don't know if Matthew Stafford is ready to go ahead and lead them to a playoff victory. That gives me a little bit of pause. But I do like the fact that both of these teams will get points on the board. So I love taking the Cardinals team total here. Again, it cashed in a loss and a win this season. And then Kyler Murray, he also went over 252.5 passing yards in the win and the loss. We already know how really, really good that Rams defensive line is and that front seven and that rush defense. There's a reason why he went over that passing total in both of those regular season games. That Rams has a really good front seven and obviously a front four led by Aaron Donald. So I love both of these bets right here. So we'll do uh, Kyler Murray over 252.5. I'll do Cardinals team total over 22.5 points. All right, let's jump over now to the association and talk some basketball. Let's go ahead and take this first quarter action. Let's do the 76ers Wizards over 55.5 points at minus 110 over at DraftKings on the season. These teams are casting you over 23, 18, and 1, averaging 56 and 56 points. And in the last 14, they're casting you over 14 and 6 with an average of 58 and 59 points. Looked it up with even without Beal, the Wizards are contributing enough so I love this right here they've been doing it lately without Beal so love the 76ers and Wizards going over 55.5 points in that first quarter 
One more for you guys. Let's do this Pelican Celtics game. Let's do the Celtics against the spread at minus 1.5 at minus 118 over a Fandle. The Celtics season long advantage in the first quarter is only by a point, but boy, in the last 10, their first quarter advantage is by eight points over the Pelicans. You're seeing it with these Celtics because they're healthy. Brown and Tatum are now both back in the lineup. They're scoring a lot of points. They're coming out in the first quarter. Again, there you have an eight point advantage here in the last 10 games over the Pelicans. So like the Celtics here at home to go ahead and just win the first quarter and obviously win it by a little, uh, good little bit of margin. So we'll take the Celtics minus 1.5 points and minus 118. The other first quarter action I'm interested in taking is the Thunder Mavs under, but we don't have that number at the sports books yet. I'm hoping it comes in around 54-ish, maybe 53, maybe give me a little bit of ha uh, pause and maybe have to think about it. 54, probably an automatic bet. So let's just see what that number comes in at between the Thunder and the Mavs. All right, let's get in also a couple NBA player props here on basketball tonight. Let's go ahead and do Grayson Allen over 11.5 points at even money over at DraftKings. Look, the Hawks just cannot defend the center position. We know that from cashing the first basket on Friday. They also cannot defend that shooting guard position. They're allowing 29 points on 49.8% field goal percentage and 4.6 made three-pointers over the last two weeks. Over the last 30 days, it's 27 points on 50.8 uh, field goal percentage and still 3.7 made field goal percentage in those last 30 days to that shooting guard position. They just struggle, and those numbers are in the bottom third of the league in defending the shooting guard position. Hawks in the last 12 days are the worst team in the NBA at defending the three-point field goal percentage. They're allowing 47%. They're 26th on the season-long numbers, allowing 36%. We know how Grayson Allen likes to shoot some threes, so I think he can get probably two made three-pointers. He's been shooting a good high volume of shots over the last handful of games. He's cashed in three of his last four games. He got 18 points versus the Hawks on November 14th. So I'll go ahead and ride Grayson Allen at even money, over 11.5 points. Let's add one more to it. Let's go ahead and do Evan Mobley, over 15.5 points, at minus 106 over a Fanduel. Look, the Nets, the Brooklyn Nets, are just really, really bad interior and defending the paint at the center position and the power forward position. They're a little bit worse at the power forward position, so that's kind of why I went with Mobley. But I also went with Mobley over Jared Allen because he takes three more shots per game than Jared Allen, and he's on the court for two more minutes per game than Jared Allen. He's cashed this in eight of his last 11. Two of those three losses, he lost via the hook. So this is a guy that gets good production. He's always right around 15 points. You add that with how the net struggle to defend the paint in the power forward position, I'll go ahead and do Evan Mobley over 15.5 points and minus 106. All right, let's go ahead and hit you guys with the recap. Let's do Grayson Allen over 11.5 points at even money. Evan Mobley over 15.5 points at minus 106. 76ers Wizards over 55.5 points at minus 110. Back those Celtics in the first quarter at minus 1.5 spread at minus 118. And then for the NFL tonight, we're going to back Kyler Murray over 252.5 passing yards at minus 115. And we think the Cardinals can get over 22.5 team total points at minus 121. All right, guys, it looks forward to the good playoff game tonight. Let's hope it's a good one here to end our night. And we'll hopefully, more importantly, we'll guys, we'll help you guys put some money up in your pocket in basketball and football tonight. Go ahead and hit that like button if you're going to go ahead and tell me. We'll come back tomorrow, we'll count it up, and we'll kick off another day here of winning bets. Thanks for watching till the end. I'm Jason Mattis. Any love you can show by giving me a like, a subscription, or a comment, or even just share this video is very much appreciated. And don't forget to turn on your notifications to increase your chances of locking in the same odds as I talked about today. And check out my other great videos in these corners.